T'Challa. Black Panther and Angels of Wakanda. This is the variant cover. That's why mine doesn't look like yours. 2020. Anybody hyped for that event? I'm not. I'm really just reading it for Ironheart's tie-in. The book covered Man Wolf. This book covered things from the past. A, a bunch of editor's notes that said, read this in Silver Surfer 2. Read this in Avengers 19, which was a reminder. I did read Avengers 19. A reminder that Gorilla Man sold them out, the Avengers, to the Russians, the vampires, because I think he didn't want to live forever. That's the condition of his Gorilla Man condition. He's got to live forever, and so he kind of sold them out. It was one of the War of Realms tie-ins, the one where they focused on him. Everyone else was too busy. Okay, so everyone's still in their tubes. They're experiencing what they were experiencing in that last issue, that part one. And this is the conclusion issue, which is cool because conclusions don't come that often. They're usually one out of six. And I can get used to this. Story's ending. I want to look at this page and emphasize that that yellow panel that shows the tentacle wrapped around its ankle. It's much more easier and efficient to see that than to read, he's got my ankle, something like that. And how much space does it really take from that page? So that's something I booked in this book and I want to highlight it. I like it. I want to highlight the way Black Panther was written. Oh man, I can figure something out. Let me just change the frequencies so we can speak the same language. What? You're not on the planet? You're not? You can't see me? Does that mean I got to go in the planet? No, that means he's got to jump out and the eyes of the moon operate like the eyes on our face. And now that there's a smiley face on the moon, I expect every Marvel comic in 2020 to, to illustrate that. Mm -hmm. I hope a mass email went out and said, guys, change of plans. Moon's got a smiley face. X-Men, you guys are living on a smiley face. Got it? Got it. Is that going to happen? No, I'm just preparing myself for the letdown. Like, I know it's going to... Don't, don't I can't even be convinced otherwise. They are not going to have the moon with a smiley face in other comics. I know it's going to be bad. It's just like I know episode 9 is going to be bad because history. Episode 8 was so bad. It, it destroyed the villain. It destroyed any progress that the series could have had. Killed Luke Skywalker and Carrie Fisher's real life uh, demise. We kind of needed someone to stay alive. But no, they didn't edit that movie to keep him alive. They... <sighs> Star Wars. Um, Entia is the product of The Gardener and uh, Euphoria. It's comic book stuff. Uh, again, this book was heavily on, on, on Manwolf, on Star God, as they called him. And he kind of had the solution here. He's got a portal into another place. It fed Entia for first. And he's like, okay, we can, we can, we can, we can just keep feeding it energy. Actually, I know a place with energy. So when he said that he was going to take it, her to the the other world place and we got to this page i'm thinking whoa this is the you know the, the the redeem code page we've only got three more left did we not solve the problem we're doomed how the hell did they fix it and we learned something beautiful about plants you see that's the quota here at marvel this month with x-men nature you plant something plant, it's like that they said in umbop you plant a seed plant a flower plant a rose um, it's a secret no one knows. It, it, it heals us. Provides oxygen while eliminating carbon dioxide. This plant now is going to... It senses there's some energy down in this core. It's going to feed itself, but it's also going to provide sustenance and, and life to this new place that he thought it would always be there. You can't take anything for granted, Manwolf. And uh, he's going to stick it here in this place. Good, I could deal without you. I don't know much about Manwolf. This is a lot of... This was a whole lot of exposition on this character. And uh, he's not going to be featured the same way Sentry is not going to be here for a little bit. Sentry showed up in Anni Annihilation Scourge, if you guys are reading that. So I think he's going to get busy with this entity, Entia, and it's going to result in another child. And I think that maybe, just maybe, Marvel's planning something with the X-Men, who happen to live on the moon. But we've got Krakoa, and it's a plant. You've got Venom Island, and it's an island. Uh, there's another X-Men island called Arcoa, Arako. So we're even now. We're two and we're two. Maybe there's an X-Men vs. Avengers plan. Just maybe there is. Maybe there's a head of X, and there's a head of A. Jason Aaron with his invaders that, that builds off of his Avengers, and this that builds off his Avengers. Maybe the, those three titles... 
just like the six titles that the X-Men are doing, are building towards some major event. That's what I can hope for because I loved AVX, so I know I'll like the new one, XVA, that's coming. And I could be giving Marvel more credit. But sometimes Marvel does great things, like name their comic book God Loves Moon Kills. This one's called... This one's called... Um, How's the title not on? I thought I saw it. Next issue. Deadpool takes aim at the agents of Wakanda. And AIM is the acronym for Advanced Idea Mechanics. And I'm a fan of clever wording like that. Okay. Go watch my Ironheart review because that's the one I worked hardest on. Go watch this video too. Go watch, yeah, my Star Wars Episode 8 rewatch. I revisited it first time in about two years that I watched the movie. And it did not hold up. It was very disappointing. Oh boy. And nothing from the trailers of episode 9 makes me think it'll be good. As of now, I'm not watching it. Unlike the rest of the internet who like to complain about it. And I'll be there on Friday. No, not me.